All right, I want to just show how this uh, single sign-on works really quick because it, it's actually quite easy. Um, all right, just for a quick breeze here through this, basically your <clears throat> when you create a new account, I am is your user, you get a root user and basically you're supposed to treat your root user like Internet Explorer and just uh, use it to download Chrome. So you create a, you create a, typically like in the old school way you would like go to a user, you create like a temp admin account, give it credentials and then save it in your like AWS config. So your command line, so you can get S3 access to S3 and stuff like that. But <clears throat> the new way is to use organization. And then, so you, you have your root account, you have your, your root with your, you know, management account, which is the same thing as your IM uh, root account. And then you can create organizational units. Um, you can create organizational units and then nest accounts under those units and then assign like uh, policies, which are basically like uh, service control policies to deny and give access to things based on rule-based access control. So you assign, you assign your policy to the group or as the organizational unit and then everybody inherits those permissions. So that's that, okay? So that's organizations and that's how you or do it like that. But like what about um, access control? Like the, you, you still have to deal with the credentials and stuff, right? Okay, well, how do we do that? All right, so the way we do that is through Identity Center and this wants to keep moving over. Uh, Identity Center, what you wanna do is you wanna set up single sign-on and uh, and you want your, so you have to choose um, what do you want your identity source to be? If it's Active Directory or Okta, then use that. But otherwise just use this, use um, use what we just, we just looked at. Our, this organization is your identity source. So we'll choose that and we'll say, okay, um, <clears throat> we'll add a new user. So you like create a user, enter the username, blah, 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 whatever. Okay, create. So it's basically just, you know, give them a one-time password, yeah, e email address, whatever, and they'll have to verify and you, then they'll log in. Once you create, once you create the user, you go here and you'll say, okay, um, oh, I have to identify, I have to, I have to do that. So I'll, I'll send, I'll send that. Um, <clears throat> once you create the user, then you have to add them to a group so they can have a single sign on. So you'll go ahead and say, um, AWS accounts, and then in here, you'll go ahead and say, okay, for my Databricks account, I already did this, but um, you say um, assign users to groups. So we wanna assign the Databricks account we just created to this group here. So we'll say um, this Databricks, we'll assign and we'll click next, okay? so. That's pretty much the whole, that's, that's the long and short of it. So once you do that, then you've set it up, you, you've set up SSO. Um, and the way you get access to that is this, um, this portal URL. So you'll have the, the users and I am identity. So you just give them a name and they'll have the email assigned or whatever. And you, you do an I am identity sender username assigned to the account that is in the organization right so the the user account like this this one whatever so you map them basically right and once you get that then they can all log in here and once you log in now this is the special thing right so once you log in let me do this Once you log in, you have access to the account, and this is what's cool about it, okay? You can go to your console, but that's one thing, I guess that's fine. You can do everything to the console, right, which is cool. But this is the bigger, bigger, good part here. So, boom, temp credentials. So, I can just go like, um, this and then like this this 
film temp credentials, AWS S3 LS, boom, right? And, uh, and then you can rotate them as well. Like you, you can, um, you can get, you can look further into that, but configure SSO, then you get a, you refresh your token. So you don't have to keep going back here every time. But if you want to log in, get it fresh, just put, paste it there. It's just much, 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 much more secure than keeping long lived like access key and secret key. 